Hello and welcome to Tommy Talks TV. I have one singular goal with this show and that is to help you make smarter decisions so that you can have better relationships. I'd like to start as usual by saying a massive, massive thank you. Thank you for all your support in 2022. Thank you for all your likes and your shares and your comments on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube. I really, really appreciate you because you're helping us spread the message further faster. So thank you very much indeed. And Happy New Year. A Happy New Year to you. This is 2023 and the first time I'm coming to you in 2023 and I just wanted to share one tip with you on what it takes to be a great spouse in 2023. So you've got you know your, your marriage plans or you've got your marriage already um, so either you're in a relationship or you're planning for marriage or you're already married as it is and you're looking to build the kind of marriage that you know that God desires for you to have. What does it take to be a great spouse? Now one thing I'd really like you to understand understand is that it's one thing for you to be a good person but it's another thing for you to be a great spouse you know I've been counseling people for years and years and years for decades and one thing I've come to find out is that you know a lot of times you find people who are really really good people and you wonder why they don't make it work in marriage so it takes a lot more than being a good person to be a great spouse so what does it really take to be a great spouse you need understanding understanding of what it means to be a spouse what it means to be a husband what it means to be a wife what marriage takes what the sacrifices are and in order for you to gain the kind of understanding that you require you need to dedicate yourself to acquiring the knowledge that you re you require this year and that's really what I want to challenge you on this year take time Take time to develop yourself this year, learning what it takes to be a great spouse because there are principles, there are laws that make marriage work. It's not a mystery, you know, what it takes to make your spouse happy. It's not a mystery what it takes to have a great marriage. But then the challenge is that a lot of times we assume as human beings that, you know, because we're old enough to get married, then we have all it takes to get married. But, you know, the, the reality is that we need to take the time to acquire the knowledge of, you know, understanding yourself as a person. That's, you know, self-understanding understanding the person you're in a relationship with what makes them tick what do they need what do they require what makes them happy what makes them sad how can you bring out the best in them understanding the principles of marriage what it takes to be a man in a marriage what it takes to be a woman in a marriage understanding God's principles for how to make marriage work so what I really want to encourage you to do this year is this dedicate yourself to wisdom dedicate yourself to knowledge dedicate yourself to understanding take time study the Word of God find out what it takes to be a great husband to be a great wife take time read books you know when was the last time that you actually read a book on on marriage or relationships that could help your marriage or your relationship growth read study and don't just read but read for application you know that's one of the things that God really you know used to help me when I was developing towards marriage I had read close to 50 books on marriage before I left university not because I was trying to teach people how to have, be great spouses but because I I wanted to be a great spouse myself. I wanted to have the kind of marriage that God desired for me to have. So take time to read and to study and take time to learn from people who have gone ahead and who understand what it takes to have a great marriage. I really trust God. I trust God that you're going to have the kind of marriage that God has designed and planned for you to have, that your marriage will thrive, that it will grow, that it will blossom, that it will be exciting. And what it takes for you to do that is to have the kind of understanding that God has planned for you to have. So dedicate yourself to this. And this is to the very best of you in 2023, trusting God that you're going to have an amazing marriage. God bless you and bye for now.